Welcome to our Sound for Video session. Today, we are going to run through a podcast mix here. And this is something that Andrew sent over. So Andrew, thanks for sharing this. Um, very kind of you to let us use this on the show and really kind of dig in a little bit more. There are a couple things that Andrew said. He He's actually taken the Adobe Audition Dialogue post-processing course and sent over kind of a, an initial mix and asked for some feedback. So what I want to do, Andrew, is I want to show you how I would approach this. And I think one thing that is important to understand is that the Dialogue post-processing course is really kind of a, a set of tutorials to, to teach you some of the tools that you have available to you when you are doing a mix. But we don't talk about mixing really improper <laughs> in that video. And what I mean by that is that we're really just focusing on a single mono track of dialogue audio and showing you, for example, how to do EQ, how to do, um, you know, how to manage breaths, how to manage mouth clicks and things like that. So those are all tools that you would use in the larger context of mixing. So let's take a look at what we have here and show you how I would approach this. So I would approach it more as a, as a mixing project and all that processing stuff I would do as needed on each of the individual tracks. So this is how we'd go about it. You can see here on the project that we have open, actually it's just a file, it's a polyphonic wave file. The first two channels here are the mix. I'm assuming you recorded it on a, like a mix pre or a Zoom F series recorder. And then next up we have the Swami, who is the person being interviewed. And here we have Arishma, who is the interviewer. You can see she doesn't do quite as much talking. Very good interviewer, by the way. <laughs> so what I would do, first of all, is I would split this into multiple uh, individual mono tracks. So I'd right click here in the waveform and choose extract channels to mono files. That'll break it all down. All right, so now three is the Swami and four is Arishma, and then these other two are the mix. We're not going to use those, um, and I'll show you why. So next thing up, we're going to go into multi-track mode here. So click on multi-track, and I'm just going to call this, I think it's called Chats with Swami G. And I apologize if I misspell anything here. We're going to go ahead and choose a place to store this here. Um, I think for now, we're going to go ahead and put it in here. All right, uh, we're not gonna use any sort of template. We do happen to know, I believe that the audio files are 44.1 kilohertz. So we're gonna use that for our sample rate. Bit depth at 32 float is fine. Uh, mono is what we're, our master's gonna be. This is a podcast. Typically, I think those are gonna, and it's just speech. It's typically gonna be mono just to kind of save on file space. Um, you could go stereo if you are gonna put some stereophonic music at the starter end or anything like that, but um, just make, you know, whatever makes sense for the particular thing you're doing. I'm going to leave it at mono here. All right. Next up, I'm going to put the Swami's track up here in track number one. And Arishma's here. And I'm going to name them so that we're good and clear. There's Swami G. And again, apologies if I misspell anything here. Okay. Technically, we can get rid of all these other tracks here. So if I come up into multi-track tracks... Can delete. We don't need any. And sadly, you can only do one at a time. Uh, let's see here. What was that shortcut? I always have to remind myself of this shortcut. Okay. So it was this, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to keep the master track. We're going to keep Arishma's track and Swamiji's track. Now I can scroll within the header of the tracks here to make them much bigger so I can see them just like that. Okay, now we've got a good start. Now I need to find the actual start where they actually start <laughs> the podcast. And I've done some of that ahead of time, so I don't want to waste your time running through that. But let me just uh, put my headphones on and we're going to find that again. Are you? <laughs> for all this podcast. Welcome everybody. It is an honor, a privilege and a pleasure to host my Swamiji. And I believe it's right there. So next thing I'm gonna do is come up to the razor tool here. If you press and hold down, you get two options, razor selected clips tool or razor all clips. I'm gonna choose the razor all clips and it shows us two razor blades. 
what that allows me to do is cut both of the tracks or actually all of the tracks at the same spot so I'm going to cut right here then I'll go back to the pointer by pressing V on the keyboard highlight these two and I can delete those now I'm going to highlight these two and drag them all the way to the left and while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and come up here. While well, these are both selected, both tracks, both clips, I should say, within the tracks. You can only select one track at a time, but you can select clips on multiple tracks at the same time. So select and select. And then I'm going to come up to clip, lock in time. And the reason I do that is just so I don't accidentally bump them out of sync. All right. Now, um, so this is, this is where we're starting from. And... What I want to do is here is just play through a little bit of it so you can hear what things sound like where we're starting. Swami Govindananda, for all these podcasts, the podcast name being Chats with Swamiji. Namaste, Swamiji. How are you? Namaste, Rishi. I'm good. Thanks. Thank you. Now, for those who don't know, I mean, I'm hearing a Kiwi accent. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not surprising. Okay, we're we're starting from what I would consider a really good, really good place. The recording is good, really good, actually. Um, and the only thing that we can really do to refine it, well, there, are, there there's plenty you can do, but I don't think it requires a whole lot. And so let me just kind of run through what I would do generally. So first, I might come over here. These are the different um, views you can look at. There are the inputs and outputs, the effects. The sends and the EQ. The EQ is really nice because I can just go ahead and turn on a high pass filter and a low pass filter. I'll probably set the low pass to 18 kilohertz. I'm just rolling off some of the highest frequencies that really aren't going to be useful in a dialogue driven kind of thing. Um, high pass filter I'm going to turn on. Now this is the Swami's voice. He has a really nice rich voice. So I don't want to cut into the bass on his voice but I do want to get rid of any rumble. So I'll probably bump this up to maybe 65 hertz. And let me just play back and make sure that we're not affecting any of the um, bass in his voice. Now, another thing I need to I need to make sure I turn this on, so you have to power it on. <laughs> and here we go. I mean, yes, I'm born and bred in New Zealand. Um, I came across to Australia, I think, about 1990. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm an Australian citizen, a dual citizen now. Okay. Go there. Same with Arishmas. We'll go ahead and turn on the high pass and the low pass, about 18. I mean, I can listen back and make sure that that's going to be okay. On her voice, I can sweep quite a bit higher, most likely, without affecting her voice. Let's go ahead and play some of that. Make sure we turn it on. I think that's one of my favorite things about you. So I thought for the first episode, I would like to actually bring out a number of questions that are more about knowing you, uh, your journey as well. Okay, that's sounding good. That's just going to make sure that we don't have any low frequency rumble in the room, which we don't, there's not any obvious amount of it right now, really. Um, I'm hearing more microphone bleed than anything else, but that's kind of just a one thing I would do at the start there. All right, next up. Now, there are a variety of different approaches you can take here. Um, one of the things I do, so for example, we have a mouth click here from Arishma. You notice it there. There's another one here. And we can uh, just play that really quickly here to illustrate. The first part is Swami Govindananda. For all these podcasts, the podcast name being Chats with Swamiji. All right. Uh, so what I can do is double click on this. I can just highlight that mouth click and I'm just going to auto heal. It's gone. Same here. Auto heal, gone. Now what it sounds like. Uh, let's come back into multi-track and play. Swami Govindananda, for all these podcasts, the podcast name being Chats with Swamiji. Namaste, Swamiji. How are you? Namaste, Rishi. I'm good. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, now what I'm noticing next is that there is some 
microphone bleed. So you can see here, here's Arishma's voice bleeding over into Swami's mic. And likewise, um, his mic is bleeding over a little bit into hers. You can do it the kind of narrative film approach, which is called railroading. And typically what we would do there is I'd come back up to my razor tool and choose just a single razor. And what I would probably do is um, cut right here. Press V to get back to the pointer and get rid of that section. So I'm not going to have his, I'm not going to have her voice bleeding into his mic when he's not talking. Now what I need to do is I need to put a kind of a crossfade in, and we do that. Oh, looks like we actually made a mistake there. I'm going to undo, undo that cut. I had both clips selected when I made that cut, so let's come up and do that again. I'm going to come into about right here when he starts to breathe. Get rid of that section and add that crossfade. All right, now what I'm going to do is come down here again, press R for razor, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut. I need to leave a little space here to add a crossfade, so I'm going to cut and cut. V to select, delete that, add the crossfades. Now the way I add the crossfade is you get this little box here. And if you're not seeing the box, you need to probably zoom in a little bit on the clips, which you can do up here. And what I do is I move it to the left, but I also move it down, and that changes the curve. And usually this kind of curve is going to be the one that's going to be most transparent. Um, the reason you, it's important to put these crossfades in is that so it doesn't sound super abrupt, or you don't get any clicking or popping. And it just needs to be a little bit. Doesn't need to be a whole lot. Let's hear how that sounds now. Swami Govindananda, for all these podcasts, the podcast name being Chats with Swamiji. Namaste, Swamiji. How are you? Namaste, Rishi. I'm good. Thanks. Thank you. Now, for those who don't know, I mean... Okay. So, great start. Now, you could keep going this way and railroad all the way down. So, you'd come back into the razor tool here when we get Arishma starting to bleed over into his mic again. We'll just cut that out. Um, there, V to select, get rid of that, add our crossfades. And this is just a, you just keep doing this through the whole podcast. That's how you can approach that. So um, that's one way to do it. And that's a perfectly legitimate way to do it. Is it tedious? Yes. Does it take a lot of work? It's, it's a fair bit of work, yeah. <laughs> but it, it'll be a great sounding podcast. And you, you know, you're not going to have to do a whole ton. Another thing I should mention before we move any further here is that the levels between the two were pretty good, so I didn't need to do anything there. There's no need to do any sort of normalization yet. And I think that's another thing that a lot of people get confused about is loudness normalization is the very last step in the mix. It's the last thing you do. And so I really didn't need to do any of that here. They were balanced, and that's all we're really looking for. Is one of them a lot louder than the other? If so, then you're going to want to adjust them. If they're both about the same and they're sounding good and people aren't straining to hear one and you know the other is too loud then you're in a good spot. So, And if, if one is too loud, then bring them down. If one is not loud enough, bring them up. Um, that simple <laughs> as a start. Again, this is a pretty, pretty straightforward approach we're taking here today. I should also mention, this is not the right approach. It's not the only approach. It is what I do. And hopefully there's some things you can learn from this. All right. Now, there's another way you can approach this, um, and that is to automate. You can automate the faders, and so you'll notice here on each of these tracks, I'm going to squeeze them down just a little bit. Right down here at the bottom of each track in the header, there's something that says read. I want to roll that down. This is where we can automate the volume for these tracks. So I need to squeeze them down a little bit more here as I roll both of those down. Um, there we go. That's probably good there. Okay. So um, we can leave it on sh uh, show envelopes and we want to automate the volume. That's what we want to change here. So that's good. I want to change this to latch on both tracks. What that's going to allow me to do, and then I also need to bring up my mixer, is that as I play through, I'll be able to use the faders to fade down Swami when Arishma is talking and likewise fade down Arishma when Swami is talking. So, I need my mixer, so I'm going to go up to Window and choose Mixer. All right. Now, you can put this mixer wherever you want, whatever makes sense. I like to put it over here so that I can watch the multi-track session and work the mixers at the same time. By default, 
the mixer will usually show up in the same panel. You just grab its tab, and I can show you here. You can just grab the tab and put it wherever you want. So if I wanted it up here, you know, we could put it there. I'd rather have it over here again so that I can use this while I'm watching this. All right. So the next thing here is that we just want to play through, and while it's playing through, I'm going to, again, change the um, the faders on them. So I have a Rishma's track here and Swami's track here. It's like a traditional mixer. I'm just going to grab the fader and move it to where it needs to go. So that's the idea. Let's go ahead and play through, and I'll show you how it works. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not surprising. I mean, yes, I'm born and bred in New Zealand. Um, I came across to Australia, I think, about 1990. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm an Australian citizen, a dual citizen now. Um, but, you know, the Kiwi socks and all that sort of thing kind of just sticks and comes out every now and again. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's one of my favorite things about you. So I thought for the first episode, I would like to actually bring out a number of questions that are more about knowing you, uh, your journey as well. The first part is that nobody really thinks about becoming a spiritual seeker of truth or a guru. Um, I'm keen to know, you know, when you were a kid, were you actually thinking about what you wanted to become? Um, <clears throat> well, in a sense, but not not as a swami or a teacher. That that never occurred to me whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, but I always had an eye on... Okay, so let's pause there. You can see now the uh, automated fader movements are represented here in the what they call the envelopes. So I can select this here, and I can actually grab these points and move them around if I wanted to. So you get some flexibility to adjust them. So if you don't get it right the first time, it's no big deal. You can just back up and start again. Um, that's what the latch setting does, is the latch setting will just hold at where you were um, and in fact, what I could do is I could just come in and move these here because I was a little late fading him down. Um, and you could do that, or you could come in and just redo it all together. So I could just do another pass here. Let me just put it right here. So I'm going to fade the Swami down as soon as he talk, stops talking. The thing kind of just sticks and comes out every now and again. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's one of my favorite things about you. So I thought for the first episode... Okay, you can see it redid it there. And then we may need to smooth this out just a little bit like that. Okay, so that's another way you can go through it. Now, I will be honest, it's a lot easier to do this when you have a physical fader control surface working with Audition. And um, <laughs> I haven't done a lot of that with Audition. I have a single fader controller, but... Um, if you have a multiple fader controller, it's a lot easier because then you can be moving both of them at the same time. The problem with a mouse is you can only move one at a time. So that's the kind of downside with this approach. But the overall idea is you still get that clean overall sound because you're fading down the parts where there's the mic bleed. And you're just really focusing the sound on the parts that you want the audience to hear. So that's the idea there. All right. So... To kind of finish this example, I don't want to run through the whole thing because that will take a ton of time. But what I will do here is let's go ahead and razor blade this off here at the end. And we'll just say, okay, we went through the whole thing and this is where we're at right here. Let's say about right there. I'll go ahead and get rid of the rest of this here. Whoops. Highlight those two and delete. Okay, so here's the end of our mix right here. Now, once I've done all of that, um, what I can do too is actually, and typically what I do is while I'm listening through and doing the automated, the fader automation, I will also listen for mouth clicks and anything I need to clean up there. So, you know, we can do that here as well. Once I've got that, another thing I can do is um, debreathing. And <laughs> this is something that you can, you can do it in a variety of different places. I would often do it at the end, so let's just kind of assume that. I'm gonna go up here to multi-track and we're ready to bounce our file down or mix down our file. So I'm gonna go mix down session to new file, entire session. All right, so here's our mix. Now, um, to finish it, there are a couple of things I would do. I could see, for example, there's a breath there, but I can also check the overall loudness here. And what I wanna do is come back to 
amplitude statistics. I want to move this down. Let's scan through. We're at minus 28 LUFS. We probably want to be louder here, so we want to be closer to minus 19, really, um, because it's a mono mix, and I'm publishing it to the web. Now, this there's no law saying it has to be minus 19. So <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, instill in you the idea that there is a, a benefit for your audience. Um, Minus 19 is going to be a lot easier for most audiences to hear when they're listening back to podcasts in cars and trains and airplanes and things of that nature, or when they're using earbuds in a noisy environment, whatever the case may be. This just means they aren't not going to have to crank the volume as much, and it will be pretty consistent with a lot of the professionally produced podcasts out there. So that's the main idea here. All right. So one of the other things I haven't talked about here, we haven't done any sort of EQ other than the high pass and low pass filters. Of course, you can do that to sweeten their voices. These people's voices both sounded quite good to me. Um, so I would not mess with it. Again, don't use a tool that you know about unless you have to. <laughs> don't just use it because it was in the course. Um, use it when you need it and use it when you feel like it'll make things better. All right, so... What I'm going to do here is, you know, of course, you can do all of this in Adobe Audition. There are some tools that I typically use that kind of make the process of loudness normalization a little bit easier and debreathing a little easier. So I'm going to show those. Now, of course, in the course, we talked about how you can take care of breath. So here's a breath right here, for example. Let's just play that really quickly. You're a citizen now. Um, but, you know, the Kiwi. My philosophy on breaths is don't cut them out. Don't eliminate them. Manage them. Just bring them down a little bit. So um, obviously you could just come in here and highlight it and reduce the amplitude. And you know, you, you make a choice on what you feel like sounds the best, most natural. There's minus 9 dB. Here's how that sounds now. Citizen, a dual citizen now. Um, but you know, the key... Would... So that way it, it's not quite as distracting, but it's still there. It's still very, it's real. It feels like you're having a real conversation. Um, but you haven't eliminated it altogether. So, all right, um, let's hop on over to Isotope RX, which is where I typically do a lot of this work. Now, the reason I do that is because there are some tools in Adobe Audition that there, there, there are some tools missing, I should say, or that Adobe Audition doesn't have that Isotope does have. And I want to show you those as well. But again, you could do a, most of what we're going to do in isotope here in audition so for example i'll come up to effects i'm going to go ahead and move us over into rx isotope rx all right a few things we have let me pull up our loudness here there we go and we're going to come back we don't need breath control right now so this is already measured so we're sitting at minus 28 uh, right here. Now, the first thing you will notice is that some of these waveforms are asymmetric, meaning this waveform right here, for example, let's just zoom in a little bit on this. Notice if I move it over here, the peak is at minus six on the top, minus 12 on the bottom. So it's, you know, it's not symmetrical across this minus infinity line. Question is, how do you fix that? Well, and, and why do you want to fix it? The reason you want to fix it is, again, we're trying to loudness normalize this. So we need another 9.5 dB uh, or 9.5, yeah, 9.5 dB of loudness here. Well, technically, it's 9.5 LUFS of loudness, which corresponds to dBs of boost that we're going to do here. So to do that, if I just come in here and let's just let's highlight everything. I'm going to go into the gain module, which just lets, allows us to digitally add volume. So let's go ahead and say I'm going to add, oh, whoops, I need to go the other direction. Undo that. Let's add, let's add 3 dB. 3 dB, let's add three more. Uh-oh, I'm clipping, but I'm not anywhere close to clipping on this end. This is why it's important for us to do this kind of, you know, fixing or, or making this more symmetric around the minus infinity line. It just gives us more headroom so that we need, don't need to fight this. And otherwise, we'd have to compress a lot harder to get these peaks down to a point where we could then boost everything up to minus 19 LUFS. So, and that's not, my thinking on this is you generally, in the case of dialogue here, you don't wanna to compress too hard. If you compress too hard, it sounds, starts to sound really crunchy and not very pleasant. So 
way we can do that here. Now, this is a tool that Adobe Audition does not have. There's this phase tool here, and it has this adaptive phase rotation. So watch this waveform right here. Again, remember, we're about minus 6 here and minus 12 here. I'm going to go ahead and run that. All right. It looks like it evened it up, you'll notice. So if I zoom in here, let's go measure this guy. Whoop. Okay. Put it over here. Now we're peaking at about minus 8 and minus 9. So it's a lot more even across those two uh, above and below. So that's going to make it easier. And you'll notice we now have a true peak ceiling of minus 8. So that grew, gave us some room here. So we actually don't need to do a lot of compression. I need to get this to minus 19 and this to minus 1.5. So the way I need to get this to minus, uh, to nine, minus 19, I'm going to need basically, well, what I need is I need this at 19 plus I need another 1.5 db of true peak headroom so i need um nine db here plus ten and a half so or plus one and a half to make ten and a half total so i need ten and a half db of headroom so i'm going to go get my plug in here that has my compressor this is isotope nectar it's called all right so we're pretty close here it's really it's really just kind of this part here and this part here. And, and actually what you can do, which actually can make a lot of sense, and sometimes I just do this because it's, it actually results in a, in a really good, it gives, it gives you good results, is I actually come in and highlight the part that's really pretty loud. Even before I pull out my compressor, let's pull out gain. I'm gonna set that to minus three dB. Let's go ahead and drop that by three dB. Okay, we got that one. And there's this one over here. So zoom in on this. Just highlight this guy right here. And I do full phrases. I don't I don't usually run it into the middle of a, a word or a consonant or a phrase, whatever it may be. Pull up our game. Let's just go minus 3 dB on that. Okay, now, all right, you'll notice here, already our true peak, we now have 10.7. So we have enough headroom. We don't even have to do any compression. That's beautiful. <laughs> so what I can do is I've got my integrated loudness set to a target of minus 19 and my true peak set to a target of minus 1.5. Go ahead and render that. All right, there we go. Let's listen back and see what we got. Swami Govindananda. For all this podcast, the podcast name being Chats with Swamiji. Namaste, Swamiji. How are you? Namaste, Rishi. I'm good. Thanks. Thank you. Now, for those who don't know, I mean, I'm hearing a... Hmm. I did hear a little bit of something on her there. Thank you. Now, for those who don't know, I mean... It's kind of a... It almost sounded like it's clipping, but it's not technically. Let's undo. Now, for those who don't know, I mean... I'm just going to drop this one down just a touch. Now, for those who don't know, I mean... Okay, let's go ahead and render this again. All right. Now, there are a number of other things that I'd like to do. Um, let's take a look at the spectral view. Pretty good. I don't see any obvious problems. There's a little bit of noise floor. Should you worry about that? This is a, a big thing. A lot of people want something that sounds like it was done in a studio. They want perfect silence between phrases. <laughs> we don't have perfect silence between phrases. We could use a noise reduction plugin. Now, the risk with noise reduction is that you can affect the quality of the dialogue. So you have to be careful with that. One thing that is really, really nice here in uh, our Isotope RX is the dialogue isolate. Let me just show you how that works here. I've got it set right now. The idea here is that it identifies the dialogue and the ambiance 
as separate things and allows you to kind of dial in how much you want of each. So I want to leave the dialog at 0 dB. I don't want to change it. And I want to reduce the noise by minus 16. And you've got this ambiance preservation percent as well. So let's go ahead and do a preview. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not surprising. I mean, yes, I'm born and bred in New Zealand. Um, I came across to Australia, I think, about 1990. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm an Australian citizen, a dual citizen now. Um, but, you know, the Kiwi socks and all that sort of thing kind of just sticks and comes out every now and again. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's one of my favorite things about you. So I thought for the first episode, I would like to actually bring out a number of questions that are more about knowing you, uh, your journey as well. The first part is that... That could work perfectly fine. I'm not getting a lot of... Um artifacts on the voices and so I can go ahead and render that watch what happens to these sections here yeah took care of that nicely so that's one thing you can do as well and then we also will typically do a deep breathing there was some breaths in between that were somewhat prominent this is sort of an automated way to do that so I'm going to put it in gain mode I'm going to set it to minus 5 dB and then I'm going to have to kind of tweak this sensitivity the way I kind of do that is I Output the breaths only at start and listen through, see how well the sensitivity is doing it, detecting breaths versus other things. But you know. It's catching a little something in his voice there. I'm not too worried about that, but um, so everything else seemed pretty good. It was catching the breaths pretty nicely. So I'll uncheck output breaths only. I'll go ahead and render that. I'll just pull those breaths down a little bit. Let's go ahead and send this back to our Adobe Audition instance. Come to effects. That's how you do the round trip back from audition. Okay, we have it. So this is our mono mix right now. Let's go ahead and just in terms of its overall loudness, we're sitting at minus 19.45. That's pretty comfortable. Uh, minus 1.68 dB true peak. So we're good. Now, the reason we leave 1.5 or minus 1.5 um, dB true peak is that we need to leave a little bit of headroom because once you put this into... The formats that you'll use typically to distribute a podcast, it can take up some of that headroom and you can start to get clipping, even if you weren't clipping in your WAV file. So that's why it's important to leave that there. All right, that is how I would generally approach this. Let's go ahead and play through it and see what we ended up with. Swami Govindananda, for all these podcasts, the podcast name being Chats with Swamiji. Namaste, Swamiji. How are you? Namaste, Rishi. I'm good. Thanks. Thank you. Now, for those who don't know, I mean, I'm hearing a Kiwi accent. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not surprising. I mean, yes, I'm born and bred in New Zealand. Um, I came across to Australia, I think, about 1990. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm an Australian citizen, a dual citizen now. Um, but, you know, the Kiwi socks and all that sort of thing kind of just sticks and comes out every now and again. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's one of my favorite things about you. So I thought for the first episode, I would like to actually bring out a number of questions that are more about knowing you, uh, your journey as well. Okay, I might come in here. Uh, Arishma has some kind of mouth thing going on there. Favorites, auto heal. Are more about knowing you, uh, your journey as well. The first part is that nobody really thinks about becoming a spiritual seeker of truth or a guru. Um, I'm keen to know, you know, when you were a kid, were you actually thinking about what you wanted to become? Um, <clears throat> well, in a sense, but not not as a swami or a teacher that okay 
So I'm pretty happy with where that came out. Um, is it perfect? No. Is it? It's pretty good though, and I don't think it's going to be anything that there's nothing left there that's super distracting for the audience. I feel like you can hear both of them quite nicely. Um, it's overall, it's very pleasant sounding. Andrew, I have to, my hat's off to you. You, you did a great recording. Um, so that's how I would generally approach it. Now, as you saw, we had to use some of the, I, well, I use some of the tools in Isotope just because that's how I'm used to working. Uh, Audition does have a phase plug-in, but it doesn't do the adaptive phase rotation like we showed you to get that extra headroom back and even things up. So that's where I do rely on Isotope RX a little bit. But hopefully there are some things in there that were useful to you that you were able to maybe take away and it will help a little bit. I think just, Andrew, in your original mix, I think what had happened is because you didn't do the phase rotation, you ended up doing some pretty heavy compression and the breaths got really emphasized. So this is one way you can go about doing that where it ends up sounding, I think, a little bit better. So hopefully that was helpful for everybody. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And uh, we'll talk to you again next week. Take care, everybody. Thank you.